Hello guys, this is Madcat and welcome to another video. This time um, I'm having a different video today. Uh, this is a tutorial for um, how to tweak your Minecraft client to have better performance. Um, also, this is uh, linked basically to another video that I'm going to do. Um, and this is basically the part one for that because you're gonna need uh, those tweaks for the next one that is going to be um, replay mode. Uh, how to install it, how to configure everything um, so you have um, that running smoothly, no problem. So this one is related to performance and how to improve that. Uh, on your computer so most people even having good computers um, good uh, resources available and everything they don't really know how to configure and they end up like running minecraft with only a certain amount of ram as default or they configure as much as they could because they didn't know they they could like run um, minecraft with more memory for example which is something that we're gonna um, learn today so for, for that so in order to do that we're gonna need to know um, if you're running uh, the right thing so what you need is to check first uh, if the architecture of, of your system is 64 bits now if you don't know what that is, uh, like what the architecture is for my computer, um, all you need to know is uh, there's two available for like uh, common computers that are like 32-bit uh, and 64-bit, and one of them will be yours. Uh, so in order to do that. Uh, in a Windows machine, you can do that on, on other systems too, but they're most likely, like if it's a Mac, it will be 64 bits, uh, like a newer Mac. Um, if it's Linux, well, um, it, it will vary, vary as well, but you, you might need to uh, find out how to um, check that out. For Windows, uh, you can go into your console, you can uh, press Windows R and type cmd enter you're gonna go to your uh, console and there you want to type system whoop, <laughs> system info and this will gather basically all the information from your computer but we're gonna uh, filter that out um, add in this bar and find uh, string find str and what we are interested in, because the first command will, will throw a lot of information that you won't probably, uh, you're not interested in, right? So the information I want is type in this case. So if we run it, it will gather all the information. That's the first command. And the second one will filter it out. And there we go. We have uh, 64, x64, which means it's a 64-bit um architecture based computer now uh, that is just the processing speed that uh, the processor can work at knowing this knowing that your uh, system is running uh, with 64 bits um, what you need to know is if your java virtual machine is uh, also 64 bit for that you might need to type java dash version and there you have it so um the first time i checked this out in my computer i didn't have this part for example which is what indicates that uh, um i have the 64 version of java if you don't have this explicitly saying 64-bit server VM it means you have the 32 version 32-bit version which cannot handle 
more than four uh, gigs of memory, meaning RAM. So uh, you need to get this 64-bit uh, uh, version uh, downloading the Java SDK 8, uh, which is now called Java SE um, Development Kit. If you don't know where to get it, you can go to Google. Let's go to Google and you can search for Java SDK 8. And there, uh, on the results, you're going to have the download page. Download page will show you exactly what you need. So this is Java SE Development Kit 8 download. So you need to download the right version, which is the 64 version for whatever system operating system you're using. And in the case of Windows, it's better to have the uh, installer rather than just the packed version because the installer will make all the all the uh, pathing for you and that there will be easier. All you need is to accept the license agreement and then download the file, install it and run again uh, the command Java version and you should see Java 64-bit server in it. All right, now that we have the right version uh, installed, um, we need to create a new profile on our Minecraft launcher. So let's go to launch options. Make sure to have advanced settings turned on, otherwise you won't see the settings you need. Let's let's have a look. If you don't have this, you're gonna see only two fields here. Um, so you turn it on, you press OK, and you add new, and you're gonna see all the fields you need uh, to configure this thing properly. So. Um, Let's call this thing, I don't know, 8 gig, 8 gigs, whatever. <laughs> and um, yeah, you, you select whatever version you need. And yeah, that's uh, what you need to enable here is Java executable. This will be going to the built in version in which. Um, the which the installer gives you which says x64 but um i believe this version is uh, an open jdk version which doesn't have that uh, all of those capabilities of using more memory so um let's use the real version the real the oracle version uh, let's go to C, Program Files, uh, Java, and this is the version we just installed, bin, and Java W, or press open already because it's selected here. And there it goes. Uh, for other operating systems, obviously you have to go to wherever your Java uh, is installed, the Java bin directory. Uh, it's usually in lib java or li uh, in case of mac i think it's library java um all right so that is it now JVR, jvm arguments we need to enable this and edit this thing now the the uh, standard or like the um, default settings are one gig of memory and some other stuff there are even uh, now like the new versions don't need this for example so anyway i'm gonna copy paste something that i use and i'm gonna explain to you why i'm using this settings so there we go i want to try to explain because <laughs> Uh, trying to explain Java, how Java works is a bit difficult, but I'm, I'm gonna try to summarize it and make it understandable enough so you can adjust it to whatever system you have. Um, because every computer is different. So, um, in the case of 
uh, this version we're gonna need this uh, parameter which is d64 will this will use the 64-bit version of Java this will allow us to use all the resources all, all the libraries for example from the 64 version so uh, with that we can use more memory uh, and this and this parameter you um, you need to set what how much memory you want so in this case we're making a, a gig uh, profile because I don't know let's say we want uh, to launch forge forge uh, li latest version as far uh, like as now and I don't know let's say you use a ton of modes um, including replay mode and you you find yourself like rendering replay mode forever so this type of configuration will help that so uh, this is um, a setting that will allow you to use a lot of memory for your system uh, if you have obviously um, then uh, the next one the next setting is concurrent mark sweep for the garbage collector now the garbage collector is uh, basically a process of uh, freeing resources every time um, from memory and for that you need processing power so what this is doing is um, kind of forcing the garbage collector to work um, a lot okay but this will work uh, perfectly with uh, processors with more than one core if you have a dual core this will work if you have only one core or a Celeron processor for example this will not be a good idea and uh, then the next one uh, is use adaptive size policy this is basically something that will support this other one this other setting this will um, basically say to this garbage collector chill <laughs> when you're not using that that many resources let's say you're not moving loading more chunks in, in Minecraft or, or, or things like that or you're not using um, you're not using too, too much of uh, your your resources. This will say, yeah, chill out. Just pause your your garbage collection and uh, let's use less processing power. This will support that, and we'll try to um, tweak that. Uh, all right. So yeah, this is safe to use with this. Uh, okay, so the last one here, uh, the heap memory. Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna explain it right now because it's difficult to do. But what I'm going to do is recommend something that um, experts recommend, um, a rate that people recommend, which is basically a third uh, of the memory you're setting up here so a third or or a fourth of the memory you're using here will be safe so in this case we're using eight gigs and so this will be probably double yeah so that is a good configuration to have for this type of memory um, and then yeah that is everything you or we need to do for this specific case of 8 gigs of memory and well I'll leave that in the description if you want to use it now let's save this thing and let's use it how do we use it it's not even here well it's probably at the end yeah 8 gigs and let's go to news and we need to select it here uh, let's go down here a gigs perfect this is 1.11.24 a gigs let's run it okay 
here it is. So now Forge is running, loading the mods, and here you can see the size of the memory is uh, 8 gigs, which is with the conversion rate is uh, 7987 megabytes. And yeah, that is it. This is how you make your um, Minecraft run with more than 4 gigs. This is good for performance, as uh, I said before, if you want to run, let's say, replay mode and you want, uh, you want faster renders and things like that, then you might consider doing all of this. So my next video will be replay mode, which I'm going to continue from here basically. <laughs> And well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. If you have any questions, that just let me know. I'll be happy to help. And that is all from me. See you guys in the next video. Bye.